Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Time for another Palace preview. This weekend, it is the big one. Obviously, Manchester City against Crystal Palace. Palace away at the Etihad. Um, this is probably going to be a short preview <laughs> for obvious reasons. I I'm just going to go straight out there and say, no way is lightning striking twice here, guys. I know last season we had the, in my opinion, the best, sing the single best performance slash result um, since getting promoted back into the Premier League in 2013. Not only was it the best result, it was just the best away day. It was it was just a perfect, perfect day um, for so many reasons. City's unbeaten at home until that point. I think the only team that season to, to take points away from City at the Etihad was us. We had the goal of the season uh, from Townsend, a goal that I will remember for as long as I live and I probably will never see a better goal live in my life. Um, especially at least from a Palace player, let's put it that way. You know, it's just loads and loads of lists, things you can tick off a list of, you know, moments that I'm probably never going to see again. Uh, and for that reason, I think it was so rare for it to have such a shock that it happened last season. The chances of us even getting a point, I think, uh, in the consecutive seasons, you know, to, or to get a point in the next time we play City, which is obviously this weekend, I think it's going to be so, so, re so, so hard, so challenging. Um, it, it, I'm not feeling confident at all that we're going to get anything. It's more likely we're going to go back to how we were before last season, um, losing, getting pumped 4-5-0, uh, which is, you know, pretty much the norm. You know, last season was an anomaly result. You know, before that, it was hammerings against Manchester City. It doesn't matter how we set up, um, or how we used to set up. It was always a case of they score one early and then all of a sudden it's leaking goals left, right, centre. Um, and... Yeah, last season was just such an anomaly result. It was such a perfect day for so many reasons. It is very, very unlikely that that's going to happen again. I'm being real. Um, so in terms of how I think we'll, we'll we'll approach the game is, I think Roy, and it's, you know, for obvious reasons, he's going to approach the game exactly the same way he did last season. I think City and Pep Guardiola, are obviously, they're no... You know, then they're, they're not amateurs at this. They've got one of the best managers in the world, Guardiola, one of the best squads in Europe right now. Um, they're going to be obviously wary of what happened last season. They're going to know where they went wrong last season, and it's not going to take a lot for them to work out how to change what happened last season. Um, it was just a case of obviously them not being at their best, but obviously all of us, all of the Palace players having at least a 9 out of 10 performance, which is the minimum you require as a player, I think, to get anything at the Etihad. You've got to have at least a 9 out of 10 performance um, in from every single player. I think that even if we do that this time round, I feel like City will have learned from last season. They will know how to, or at least try to improve, they will improve enough in certain areas where they weren't very good last year and it will make it even more challenging for us to get something this time round, even if we stick to the same game plan. That game plan, of course, being to be as, excuse the language, but as, as shit out as possible, um, which is technically what we're good at. We like to sit back and soak up pressure and look to counter-attack. We did it to perf literally to a T. We did it perfectly last season. Um, the, the goal on the counter-attack for the equaliser uh, in the first half, Schlupp's opening goal against City. Um, obviously, Gundogan put them 1-0 up and then we score the Schlupp's equaliser about 10 minutes after. That equalising goal was a textbook counter-attack. It was fantastic counter-attack and a lovely finish, something that, again, we're not very used to seeing this season, clinical finishing. Um, again, another thing that you've got to have. doesn't matter how well you defend. if you, you may only get one chance in 90 minutes against City. If you don't put it away, that could be your your moment gone and you're probably not going to see another chance. So you've got to be clinical, obviously, which we haven't been this season. Uh, you've got to, well, so I think it's 22 goals. We've scored it in, in, uh, in the Premier League. Obviously, the worst record. In the, one of the worst records in the league in terms of goals scored. Not a good stat you want going into a game like this. Um, but yeah, I, I think that you've got to look to try and frustrate City for as long as possible. Um, try and just defend for your lives and try and the aim has to be try and get to half time, get those small goals. Um, so for example, can we get through the first 10 minutes without conceding, you know? Um, yes, and get to 10 minutes, bang, still nil nil. Can we now get to 20 minutes, still nil nil? Yes. And you have those small margins, small little uh, baby steps, you know, small goals. 
during the 90 minutes, small targets, and it, keep hitting those targets. And it doesn't matter what level you're at, you've got to have those targets in game, I think, against the top sides in Europe. Um, so I think that's how we'll approach it. Same as last year. We were so, so good with our wing backs last year. Um, Van Arnholt and uh, Wan Bissaka, I call them wing backs because obviously they bomb forward quite a lot, but they're obviously left and right back. Um, and Wan Bissaka was, it was his best game in a Palace shirt for me, away to Manchester City. It was arguably a, a two or three players' best game in the Palace shirt. Um, as I mentioned before, all of them having nine, at least nine out of ten performances. But they were so, so crucial to that result. Um, obviously, the rest of the team were as well, but those two in particular, I think, because the way we beat City was there when they bombed forward Manchester City, they were so reliant last season, especially on wing play and having Sane or Bernardo Silva one side, Raheem Sterling the other side, going to the 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 uh, the goal line cutting back for tap ins you know that was their probably their their trademark way of scoring was the the cutbacks and we just completely negated that we you know I can't remember I can't remember any time anyone getting round Wan Bissaka um, around the outside and looking for a cutback same with Van Arnhol I think he, he very rarely got beaten that night and that it forced the wingers to come inside into where it was congested and we had the midfield literally sitting on top of the back four and that is why I think we won on the night is we stopped City playing the way they like to play we frustrated them we had the lead as well and I think City then started becoming a little bit desperate um, obviously we go 3-1 up early in the second half and all of a sudden then they start changing their game style to something that they're not being that they've not worked on in midweek no way would Guardiola prepare his team for being 3-1 down at home against Palace and trying to do longer slightly more direct balls switching plays uh, you know stuff like that so that is the only way we beat them being frustrating hard to break down stopping the wing play this season has been slightly different and again this links to why I think that we won't get anything to this time around. It's players like Mares, obviously uh, being massive for City this season, and Mares loves to cut in on his left. So I think they've worked a lot more on being able to be more effective cutting in from certain areas like that. Um, they're just such a hard team to beat. They've got world class talent across the pitch. We don't. Um, so I am predicting a three one City win. I think that if we can avoid a smash, a, a hammering, and potentially get a goal on the score sheet, something for the away fans, you know, I think that'll be massive on the day. But yeah, that, that's my thoughts on the game going into it, guys. Obviously, let me know your thoughts down below. It's not the longest preview, but it kind of sums up. It's a good way to sum up my thoughts there. I think everyone's thinking the same thing. Um, absolutely magical away day last year at the Etihad. Very, very hard to replicate that in back-to-back -back seasons. And it's more than likely, especially the way City are playing right now, I think it's six wins in a row. They're in amazing form. I don't think that we're going to stop them anytime soon, unfortunately. But uh, still in a great spot in the league. They get a free hit at this and you never know. You never know. If we, we know how to do it. We're one of the few teams that know how to beat City on their home turf. So we have that experience. So we do know how to set up and, and frustrate a team like that and get a result off of it. So you never know what could happen on the night. But I'm predicting City to win. Let me know your thoughts down below. Love uh, all the um, interaction, guys, in the comments. So many comments in the last few videos, and I love it. I read every single comment. So keep your comments coming in and uh, thoughts on, on general. Nabil Bentaleb as well. Will we sign him? Some more transfer stuff will be coming up shortly. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe, and fingers crossed for Saturday. <laughs>